What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bearded Fortech. If you're new here, welcome. We're going to talk about this new GM recall that they're talking about with the 6.2 liter. All right, that recall is for the 2021 through 2024. It's going to be, I posted it on my community post the other day. So if you didn't see that, you can go see it there. It's the Cadillac Escalade, Escalade ESB, the Silverado 1500, the Suburban, the Tahoe, the Sierra 1500, the Yukon and the Yukon XL. And that's 21 through 2024. And it is recall number N as in Nancy. 25249401 and that's the L87 6.2 liter engine. So what they do is they basically inspect it and they change the oil to from a 0W20 to a 0W40. The sawdust quiets the gears and lets the engine run as sweet as a nut for a couple of miles. Put a new oil cap on it and then update the owner's manual with the new paper and put that in your glove box and they're supposed to inspect it for a code. If it's a 0016, they are to replace the engine. Now they are basically doing a stop sale on their vehicles, which means any dealer inventory that hasn't been sold, they are not to sell that until those vehicles are fixed. From what I've heard, there is a humongous back order on these engines. And you know, Ray, Rayman Ray posted a video earlier. We do call that intergalactic back order because who knows when you're going to get one. So apparently what is causing it is the wrist pin or it's the circlip holding the wrist pin is failing, not technically the rod bearing or the rod breaking, but uh, I don't see how zero W 40 oil is going to keep a manufacturer defect or mechanical failure like that from happening. So, um, it, this is a really big recall. Um, putting thicker oil in it, it it's still going to fail. So I, I guess they're just trying to buy time. Um, kind of like Ford does with the uh, CP4, you know, reprogram the PCM. How does that fix a mechanical error? It doesn't. So, I mean, what is going on with manufacturers lately, man? You spend 80, or, or not spend, excuse me, you, you charge 80, 90, $100,000 for a truck and you put garbage engines in them and that's all manufacturers. I'm not just talking about GM here. So what is the actual fix for this? Ray asked a very good question as well. Did they redesign the engine and, and miss something where the circlip holds the wrist pin in? Uh, is it a new kind of wrist pin? Um, is it the wrong kind of wrist pin? Is it the wrong kind of circlip that holds it in? Something is causing it to fail. And they found a lot of them that are failing. But uh, why can't anybody just make a good engine anymore? But don't people need good cars? Why is that so hard? You guys have been doing this for over 100 years. You still can't get it right. Like, it's, I don't know. But that recall came out Friday, I do believe it was. Um, I posted it on Sunday. It might have come out on Saturday. No, it came out on Friday because I had two GM technicians actually. Uh, one commented, he said, you can verify this is a real recall. It came out Friday. The other technician texted me and told me that it was true. And I had already posted it before he had actually texted me. So it, it is a real thing. It is a humongous recall. It is a big deal. Um, I wish they would just build things like they're supposed to. I guess that's just too hard nowadays. But anyway... It's, it's like they're crooks and thieves. They charge you eighty, ninety thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars, and the trucks don't even last. They break down all the time. It's, it's not cool, man. Um, you know, whatever. I still don't see how putting going from a zero twenty to a zero forty is going to fix it, because it won't fix it. But um, anyway, that's the update I have for that recall right now. Later on this week, I am going to do another video. Me and a GM technician and somebody else that you guys know, we are going to be interviewing a GM technician to see if we can shed more light on what is going on. Um, GM, you're losing 
you're 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 losing your customers okay and you know i don't know if you're trying to catch up with ford for recalls i i don't that one right there i mean that's you're doing a pretty good job with that one um anyway enough with the bash i'm not trying to bash it's 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 uh they all have problems they all have issues but this is just a major major thing going on can you imagine driving a seven thousand pound suv going down the road and all of a sudden just the engine just locks up i mean or your truck you spend ninety thousand dollars on a truck go down the road and all of a sudden the engine just locks up i mean and then you're paying for it while it's still sitting at a dealer with an intergalactic back-ordered engine i mean come on who pays for that should should you pay for a vehicle that you can't drive come on but stay tuned so hopefully friday Maybe Saturday, we're going to have a GM tech, and he's going to kind of go over all this uh, as he gets information as well, and we can relate to you guys. So I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.